All right, I thought I'd record this and uh, show you my basic idea uh, about using a bearing uh, along with the Steadicam. Uh, this is, of course, not a finished version. This is a quickly put together piece from household items and a, a bearing that I bought from the store. A couple of plumbing pieces right here. Uh, one metal, one PVC. But uh, this shows the basic of idea of what I had. But of course, I, I didn't mount my HVX because this of course cannot support much weight at all. So I just mounted my smaller camera. Uh, as you see, it can tilt around. This of course isn't sturdy because I mean, you know, it's just like cheap stuff laying around the house or whatever. But with rigid enough parts, I think that it could possibly work, who knows. And here, I'll show you what I mean by being able to switch into low mode really easily. Go like that. And then it whips back up. Of course, I think you'd have to have proper practice with such a thing. I don't even know if somebody's ever tried this before, but I'm sure somebody has. Of course, this one's horribly front heavy because I don't, you know, I just cobbled it together real quick. But, uh, you know, if you're messing up your own shots in some way and you're tilting a little bit, the camera would stay level. Of course, this isn't responding in the way that it should because I just don't have enough weight on that. You know, but... hmm, whatever. Oh, but uh, yeah. So, I had to cobble some pieces together to actually mount the camera. But as you can see, there's an L bracket here. It's connected on the inside uh, on this piece. Let me actually take it apart. Here's, you know, that's just a, a plumbing piece, like a coupler, I think it's called, or something. And here's our bearing, held together by two nuts on uh, some, of course, washers and everything, so that I can try to get it a little bit stabilized. But then it spins, you know, and uh, I got it attached on the top stage with just a couple of basic bolts. Uh, this one's actually loose, that's not good. But, uh, now this piece is completely rigid, you know, with placing nuts and washers here, here, right here, and here. And then we have our rail bracket, which is connected to our top stage. That's it.